Hi everybody, how are you doing today in YouTube land? You do realize that the earth is flat, don't you? I mean, only a fucking retard would think they're on a spinning ball. Has your mind been skull fucked? This skull fuckery that has happened to your mind that you have allowed because you believe whatever you see on TV has now changed your actual eyes from seeing the truth. Go outside and look at a lake. It's pretty fucking flat, man. But in your mind, because of the skull fuckery, you'll see a ball or even imagine a hump that's there. The physical properties of water does not change whether it's been, it's in a bathtub, it's 180 degrees level. If it's a lake that's miles across, it's 180 degrees level. Water maintains level at rest. And in fact, the building that you're standing in, the sidewalk that you walk on, has to be level, flat. And you know how this is done? With water. Yay, give yourself a pat on the back, you fucking moron. It's done with water. Yeah, water. And the bubble inside the water, the air bubble, will go center for level. And here's another one for you. When they make big panes of glass that go in your giant monstrosities, for your buildings and downtown centers and big cities, your skyscrapers, those panes of glass have to be perfectly level, perfectly flat to fit in those windows and to fit in those openings. Guess how that's done, boys and girls? It's done with water. Yeah, water. Why don't you look up how panes of glass are made for skyscrapers? so that you're not getting skull fucked. You think that all of a sudden, when you invoke the words earth, ball earth or globe or space, that all of your logic and reason go out the fucking window. You say, no, that's not true. That's not true. Actually it is. And for me to demonstrate gas pressure in a container I would without a container I need a container I need to have a container to carry the fucking gas pressure in but outer space you don't need a container anymore that's the opposite centrifugal force a, a force spinning outwards creating an outwards direction away from the source that it's spinning from a force outwards away from now when you say space and, and planet Earth and ball Earth, there's a, a reversal. Now it's the opposite. Now things that spin hold shit onto it. Hmm? Hmm? How bad has your mind been fucked? You think that mathematics, reification of mathematics somehow proves something? All my mathematical computations because of my assumption of living on a ball proves this. Oh! Your assumption of living on a ball? Your radius value? You know what the radius is, right? Are you fucking stupid? In order for you to do your geometric math based on your sphere belief, you need to invoke R. And R is radius. So you're using a radius that's based on an assumption that's based. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. On refraction. Can you do geometry with a refraction? Can you? Can you do geometry with a refraction? The answer is no. So you don't have anything. You have a fucking lie and a belief. That's what you have. Remember what I said. 
centrifugal force is now the opposite. Water now all of a sudden has a bulge in it as it gets bigger. Right? Now you've invoked space and earth, planet earth, because your mind has been taken from you. Your belief system has been drilled into your head the day that you were born and the day that you went into a classroom and the day you seen that big ball, that globe, and they told you that's where you lived. Your mind's been fucked. There's a penis hole entry on one side and a penis hole e exit on the other. You have been fucked clear through the skull. Clear through. You sit there and watch NASA take off with their spaceships as they arch over the ocean every fucking time over the ocean. As you see it arching in the sky, you think it's escaping some sort of pull of gravity. Now that gravity's already been exposed, you can look it up. Gravity isn't a force. You fucking retards. We've told you this. But go, go run to your mathematics. Go figure out your computations, you fucking retards. And then make it all based on assumption. It's coming to an end. And your fucking bullshit with your fucking virus shit and your fucking nonsense. All that did was slow things down. But what it did for you, you elite fucking soulless, bloodless fucking zombies, is it made the creator very much more aware of what you're up to. You just literally fucking chopped your own fucking heads off. Good job. Enjoy your fucking death. But you were never really alive to begin with. You're just a filthy little program. Control, alt, delete. You must be fucking blind, deaf, and retarded. So if you believe the earth is a ball spinning, if you get erased, it's not like you were ever living. You're obviously a fucking program because only a program couldn't see the fucking truth because they're programmed. Do you think that just happens? Hmm? What do you think would cause that? You fucking retards. You honestly believe that there's a virus that's killing everybody off? Yep. How about the truth and everybody's scared? Fucking shitless! Because they don't want this. They don't want this truth. I did this experiment myself. Right here. Go ahead, do it. Put a quarter in the moonlight. Put a quarter underneath the fucking tree at night and see what happens. The quarter in the moonlight will be colder. You don't have to fucking like it. But that's a direct violation of refracting sunlight, reflecting sunlight from a, another object. It would have to be warm. However, it is not. It has its own source.
A sext improves this right here. If the sun is way closer than it's supposed to be. It also proves the stars are way closer too because they used a sexton to navigate ships back in the 1700s, 1600s. They knew exactly what they were going, where they were going. They knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, you're just going to say that didn't exist? Go ahead, lie. That is what you do best, isn't it? Newton's theory. Hmm. You believe it's gravity when density can prove everything? Everything from a helium balloon rising to uh, a rock falling down through the water. An air bubble rising up through the water. I mean, go ahead and deny it. It's, it is what you do. You're called liars and shills and trolls and filthy fucking disgusting, disgusting fucking monsters. You're monsters and you're going to be fucking destroyed for good fucking reason. You filthy fucking monsters. You hide the truth of a creator from everyone and you think there's not going to be repercussions. You think you're fucking bullshit fucking pandemic. You're fake fucking bullshit fucking virus is going to stop what's coming. Your fucking heads are already cut off. You just don't know it yet. Get it into your fucking stupid fucking head. NASA fails. You think that's a fucking coincidence? You fucking dumb? You don't like it, do you? You'll just change the channel and watch porn. Maybe some fucking sports. Maybe some hunter cutting an animal's head off. Maybe that's what you want. That's why you die. That's why you die. That's why you die. Look at that fucking thing. Do you think that's a fucking human? Do you think that's a human fucking being? Nobody in the human history, as far as I know, because I'm so educated, has thought the world was flat. Uh, uh. Hebrew, uh, Norse, Hindu, Mayan. Huh? You want more? Inca, Navajo, Egyptian. Oh, and there's NASA with their ball pushing their fucking lie to keep us all in little fucking farms and cages so they can suck the fucking life right out of ya. Yeah. Aren't they great? Aren't they great? Aren't they great people? You think that we're alone? You think you're going to stop it with a virus? You think you're fake virus? You think you're going to stop it when you fucking censor everybody? You think you're going to stop it all? Huh? Do you think you're going to stop? You think I'm alone, man? You're fucking sick and you're going to be destroyed for good reason. Your money won't save you. Your fake Jesus won't save you. Your gods won't save you. Your lies won't save you. Your gold won't save you. Your jewels won't save you. Nothing will save you but your blood. And if you don't have any blood to spill, you're dead already. Bye-bye. Take care now.